One of the things that you're going to need to do if you want to use Pro Tools is you're going to have to set up an iLock account. iLock is spelled I-L-O-K. iLock is a piece of software that helps Pro Tools and other companies keep track of your software authorizations. It does this one of two ways. It can do it with a hardware dongle, which is like a USB drive, but it's very specific and proprietary. Or as long as you are attached to the internet, you can use something called iLock Cloud, which in my experience, it works pretty well, but you need to make sure that you are on the internet when you're using Pro Tools or it will log you off. This is something that could be done if you're downloading a version of Pro Tools. But what I've found is the one that comes with the install is not always the latest version. So it's good to download the latest version from the iLock site. Creating an account is pretty easy. Click Create Free Account. What I would do in the case of my students is just create a user ID that is exactly the same as your Avid account ID. Keep it consistent. It's a pretty easy form to fill out. I won't insult you by telling you what to write in each one of these things. And then down at the bottom, make sure that you have read and agree to the terms of use and then hit create account. Once you're done, go back to this first page and then pick the installer that's associated with whatever computer you have. Mac OS X, this isn't too complicated. This particular version works with even really old versions of the Mac OS X software. With Windows, it's a tiny bit trickier, but basically if you have a relatively modern computer, you're going to be using this Windows 64-bit. I'm going to update my license here on my Mac. I'm in Google Chrome, so it shows up in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, or it might show up in my downloads. It's going to open it up in Finder. The next step is to click this license support package. Double-click it and it's going to bring up a standard installer here. So read through the information, of course, and then click continue when you're ready. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions, and I am going to install it. So it is going to ask me to verify that this is supposed to be happening. So you could either save this installer or move it to the trash. 